kindergarten, I'm going to show you how to draw acorn people. First, I'm going to show you on my whiteboard. You will start with the letter U, the letter U, or a smile. Then we're going to add a little triangle at the bottom. An acorn has an acorn cap, so I'm drawing a curved line that connects those two lines on my U and then two curved lines on either side and li a line on top. The final thing I need is a slanted skinny rectangle. Now I'm making some diagonal lines crisscrossing on the top for my acorn cap. Now the fun thing about this acorn is that you can decide what kind of face your acorn has. He needs probably eyeballs or eyes and a mouth. Uh, so you can do a circle with dots inside. But what are some other faces you could do? You could also make it look like your funny little acorn person is sleeping. Maybe he's snoring or singing. Let's see, what else could we do? Our little acorn person could also have a sweet little smile and eyelashes. So lots of options for your acorn person. When you are ready, you are going to draw first with pencil. And I know it's hard to see, but that's because we will draw really light with our pencil first. In case we have any mistakes, we can erase it with our pencil. There's my curve line on top. I'm going to make two curve lines on either side and connect them going over to the top and a little rectangle on the top for the stem. Some diagonal crisscrossing lines will help make it look like an acorn cap. Now I'm going to make a face in pencil on my acorn. Let's see. Oh, I like those cute little eyes I made. And some eyebrows on top. I decided no nose on this guy. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a big, thick Sharpie marker to go over this. That way I can cover those pencil lines. I'm going around my little U and I'm including that triangle at the bottom to make it look like it has a little point. Then I go over all of my lines with my Sharpie. The reason I'm making this nice and dark is that if your work of art is chosen to go in the directory, it will be really easy for people to see your drawing. So I'm going over my crisscross lines with my Sharpie and then if I have some eraser or if I have some pencil lines I need to erase, I'm going to erase it. I've got a funny donut shaped eraser that I'm using. You can see I'm erasing into my hand. I put my hand down, it looks sort of like the letter L and I'm erasing into that hand. If I put my hand down to erase then It'll hold my paper down while I do it. Look at that cute acorn, all ready to go.